Hey guys, I'm here with another tutorial, and in this one we're going to be playing sound, creating a file, and yeah, so let's go and take a look at the code. Um, so this is for creating a WAV file, an uncompressed WAV file, which is actually one of the few media files that are not patented, and you can use freely without any um, concern for consequence or whatever. Um, so the reason is because it's an algorithm that's been around since like um, radio, essentially. So it's it's unpatentable. Um, so let's start at the top. These are the header bytes, and I would explain all these things, but kind of difficult without um, a way to show you. Some of it's pretty um, easy to figure out. All right, so like bits per sample, it's like all oh, right, two bytes per sample. Okay, so that's two bytes per. Uh, sound uh, package or information, I guess is what you call it. So like for instance, if you look here, which is the documentation on the WAV file, you'll notice all these explanations for everything. And you can just look here if you're interested in how that all works. So yeah, um, I'm just gonna show you the code. I'm not gonna focus on this stuff. So first we just go ahead and delete the old file because we're going to be creating a couple. We create a new file, we start a binary writer, and we write out um, RAFF for the header start, the chunk size, wave format, and a couple other things here, number of channels, bit rate, etc. And then um, we're going to generate static. So we want a random class. And then this is just um, one of the pieces in this thing. As you notice, there's a um, subchunk and then sample one, or no, is that it? Somewhere here you need to put in a bunch of zeros before. Anyways, I guess it's here. I don't know, that might just be the sample. I might, I might have just put that in by mistake. So anyways, back to the code. There's the right channel because it's stereo. And there's the left channel. And we got two bytes per sample. And then um, what we're going to do is go ahead and write those in these two for loops. And then we uh, close it, dispose it, and then we can play the sound. So let's try that out. This might be a little bit loud. I don't know. So we're going to click, click this file to create. And it appears to have finished. And then we'll click play sound kind of annoying sound. I mean, it's static. What do you expect? So yeah. So that's how you create WAV files from scratch. Um, so yeah, I'll go ahead and show you guys the code again. So you can like pause it at these different places and copy. And then of course, just have this and that. So yeah, that's the end of my tutorial. And thank you for watching.